Hey, what's going on you guys? It's your man James aka JP back again with some more Arcade 1 Up news and updates and wow, so CES is definitely underway. Today is opening day for all the general public and we got just so much great information that came out. I wouldn't say it's really new information, although some of it is, but it's more so ex information expounded on from what we revealed in yesterday's video. So everything that we took a look at in yesterday's video, we now have photos for, video for, uh, a little bit more information on everything. So really, really interesting details there. Obviously, I am at work right now and I am not at CES, so I don't have any footage to bring you guys. However, a good friend of the channel, Retro Ralph, is letting me use some of his video clips from his live stream that he did today. He did a full on tour of the Arcade 1UP booth at CE yesterday. If you guys haven't checked out Retro Ralph's channel before, which let's be honest, if you're watching my channel, I'm pretty sure most of you already know about Retro Ralph and his channel. But if for whatever reason you don't, be sure to check the link in the description. I have the link to his channel down there. So thanks again, Ralph, for letting me use some of the clips for today's video. And without further ado, let's go ahead and take a look at all the new information that we got today from the Arcade 1UP booth at CES 2020. All right, you guys. So starting right off the bat, we're getting a very nice look at the brand new arcade one up pinball tables and like i mentioned in my previous videos i really don't know anything about virtual pinball or pinball in general you know i like playing pinball actually i love playing pinball but as far as all the technicalities of it and whatnot and all the parts and whatever i am no pinball expert but these do look really really nice obviously they are in the early prototype stages so i don't think this is how they're going to look the finished product on the shelves with the back all exposed like that and whatnot however they still look really really nice i love what's going on here overall looks really good all the artwork and whatnot looks on there ralph says that all the quality of the parts and everything looks top notch so i'll take his word for it everything looks really good on there moving on this is what everybody wants to see and that is the nba jam cabinet now overall looks really really nice and yes it is a full player cabinet i've been getting tons of questions about that over the last couple of days yes it is confirmed it is a four player cabinet with the online capabilities which is just so crazy so awesome i still can't get over that and you can see all the little decals on there that let you know that yes it is online enabled you can see it has like a little live image right there so that's just really really great stuff looking forward to that no word on the price point yet my guess it's going to be around 400 just because of the whole online capability with the four player uh, layout and whatnot so it's going to be interesting i'm guessing 400 but that's not been confirmed that's just my assumption and they also did mention that they're working on getting all the license for the players but they're not sure that they're going to be able to secure every license for every player and i expected that because not even with the nba 2k series not every player is in that game so i'm pretty sure you're not going to see charles barkley you may or may not see michael jordan uh the licensing with him is a little weird he wasn't really in a basketball game after he retired until 2k 11 i believe so the licensing with him is going to be interesting reggie miller you probably won't see in here as well because they are not in the nba live or the nba 2k games and i'm a huge basketball fan so yeah i knew that the licensing for this was going to be very difficult so they said they are working on getting finalizing all the licenses and whatnot but they cannot guarantee that they're going to have every single player that was in the original game which was to be expected but hey having this cabinet with some players not present versus not having this cabinet at all i think we'll all take having this cabinet but i know there are going to be people out there who are going to be upset that not every single player is included on there but what are you going to do you can't please everybody so another interesting thing is that we're getting retooled cabinets it's basically arcade one up going back and kind of updating some of their older and original cabinets we can see that they have the golden tea cabinet that they are updating with a bowling game that's going to be included now they haven't finalized what games are going to be on that cabinet but this is just kind of like a mock-up or whatever but that looks really really cool the street fighter cabinet which if you guys have been following the arcade one up modding community for the longest this is basically what the modders have been doing adding the lip buttons adding the lip marquee having the samwa joysticks and buttons on there so this just looks really really cool it does have the dual speakers so it fixes that issue that the initial wave one cabinet had of the single speaker setup so it is just really really cool it sucks for everybody that did purchase the original cabinets but if you've been holding off now is definitely the time to go ahead and pick these up if you're a fan of the lip buttons the lip marquee but overall Overall, even if you're not swap them out for something a little bit more stock looking you still have an upgraded cabinet with the speakers i believe the screen is one of the newer screens as well so overall just looking very very nice the one thing that i wish that they would have done while retooling these cabinets and i know it's a lot of work and a lot of money on their end but it's adding the online capabilities that they have with the nba jam cabinet but they did say if there is enough demand for it they will end up doing it so i would love to see it with the mortal kombat cabinet with the street fighter cabinet and all those great fighting games that could really really use that online play we also also got another look at the star wars accessory i'm 
I'm not exactly sure what the official name for this is, but I'm going to call it the seated accessory for Star Wars. And it looks really, really great. It looks like it's just obviously it's made for the cabinet, but it just looks like that's the way the cabinet came stock like that. It's a great accessory. I like how flush that it sits on the body of the cabinet. I love how the artwork flows with the artwork of the cabinet as well. And I love that it comes with the cushion. It looks like a very nice plush, uh, maybe some kind of leather material on the finish, but very nice looking cushion there. Very cool accessory. If you already own the Star Wars cabinet, I feel like this is definitely a must-have for you. Okay, so I saw pictures of this earlier today on David McIntosh, who is the PR guy for Arcade 1UP. I saw this on his Twitter account, and I thought that they were just display pieces, but these are fully functional, working, giant joysticks, and it's it's absolutely insane. Uh, I, don't, I don't even know who would have thought of this, but... They are giant joysticks that are going to be about $100 retail price point, and they're going to have 10 to 20 built-in games on it. And again, this is just absurd. You see this giant joystick, and I thought it was honestly just like a display piece, a piece of art, which I'm sure a lot of people are going to be buying it for that reason. But you are going to actually be able to hook it up to your TV and use it, and it's crazy, it's absurd, but I love it. It's awesome. Am I going to pick one of them up? I don't know, probably not, but... Uh, I feel like they are more of like a novelty item than anything else. I don't think many people are actually going to use them for the playing purposes, more so than just display pieces. But even at that, they make really, really cool display pieces because who wouldn't want to have a giant joystick laying around the game room? And they also have these brand new micro cabinets and little plug and play controllers coming out as well. So Arcade 1UP is really trying to, to get every level of gamer, whether you're a hardcore, you know, arcade enthusiast and you want to have that full size arcade, or if you don't have room for a full size arcade and you want something smaller like the wall cades or the counter cades or if you don't even have that much room and you just want something that you can put on your desk or just plug into your tv and just play it simply i just think that it's awesome what they're doing and how much stuff that they're actually pumping out how much new stuff that they're actually showing because i was not expecting any of this stuff and they all look great they all look amazing and come on man mega man seriously they're pulling out all the stops they got mega man that that's just sick they look awesome i believe the price point for these is going to be 20 to 50 dollars depending on which ones it is but still just really really great looking stuff and we actually have some new counter cades at 100 dollars now these are not the same counter cades that we've had before obviously everyone in the community was saying that 200 dollars is way too much for these and at the 100 dollar price point they'd be more willing to buy it well rk one up has listened but they had to retool a few things in order to bring that price point down to 100 dollars. so they did make them a little smaller the screen is a little bit smaller but other than that they're still the the same counter cades that we've had before just in a smaller form factor at the hundred dollar price point and i think that's a really good price point for these i think these will fly off the shelves more than the other ones were okay and now the moment that we've all been waiting for and that is the brand new sega cabinet that has alter beast that has golden axe that has shinobi and all those other games on there the main theme of this cabinet is going to be golden axe the death of adder and i've honestly never heard of this version of golden axe i'm familiar with golden axe one and two uh but this looks awesome i love the artwork on here i love that whole orange aesthetic to it looks really really nice but the really cool and amazing thing about this cabinet is that it has the scan lines built into it ever since day one that rk one up was released everybody was clamoring that they wanted the scan lines it wasn't that authentic feel and they desperately wanted and needed those scan lines now you have them so there you go now it's not been said if you can turn the scan lines on or off or if they're just permanently there i would imagine there's some way to toggle them but everybody who wanted scan lines you have the scan lines you have the sega cabinet five heavy hitter well maybe four heavy hitters in one i've heard that the wrestle wars game although i'm not familiar with it i heard is not that great but still just a beautiful looking cabinet the four player uh control deck right there just looking absolutely amazing and again you have the scan lines in there so i mean arcade one up is really just catering to their audience catering to the fans and really just listening and learning from the modding community and just to everybody in general and the final thing that we have here is the frogger cabinet now i said in yesterday's video all that was reported on is that there was a frogger cabinet but i didn't know what games were coming on there now we know so it's going to be a three game cabinet with frogger time pilot and time pilot 84 honestly i'm not familiar with time pilot or time pilot 84 i'm probably too young for that but i am familiar with frogger the cabinet looks great the artwork does look a little weird on the side or whatever but you know with the frogger logo and whatnot because that's i don't believe that's the original logo but still a very very nice looking cabinet for some of the older uh, people in the community i feel like they're gonna absolutely love this one all right so i am out of breath but that is everything from the arcade one up booth at ces 2020 and there's so much stuff and i would imagine that there's going to be more stuff revealed as ces continues and i'm sure that some of the stuff that we saw in that leaked image the other day with the big buck hunter and the marvel vs capcom x-men vs street fighter cabinet 
if those aren't revealed i'm sure those were prototypes and we all know we all been through this and uh david even said it in retro ralph's live stream it's not official until it's announced by arcade one up but that's pretty much it i hope you guys enjoyed this video huge shout out to retro ralph for again letting me use his clips throughout this video i really appreciate it i know all of you guys really appreciate it so you guys head over to retro ralph's channel leave a comment let him know the toy room sent you and tell him thank you for providing these clips for me to show you guys and if you enjoyed this video make sure you like comment and subscribe share this video with your friends also be sure to follow me on instagram that link will be down in the description as well and i'm gonna go ahead and get on out of here so as always guys stay tuned for more and i'll see you guys next time